guys, there was some news today, and that is that President Trump has postponed the trip to North Korea, and I was, well, Pompeo's trip to North Korea, and I was watching out for this, because there was two possible results that would have come for this, from this trip, and that was that um, it didn't go well, so, and it just deteriorated from there, or it went really well, and the end of the war was declared, but, you know, the, the end of the war celebration was a, a trick, and they still attacked the US. Well, it turns out neither of those are going to happen. It turns out that what's going to be the trigger is that Trump is cancelling it, so he's going to take the blame again, and he'll take the blame when it happens, when dr the drills would have been taking place. So the narrative's not hard to see here. And what is really interesting is the timing of this is also including... Uh, there's going to be an offensive in Idlib in Syria. And there's all these talkings about uh, there being a possible false flag to help the West intervene. And it's just the way they're converging is, can't be coincidental. And this guy is right, but what's really interesting, he's saying the U.S. carrier strike group. And this is going to be a much bigger false flag than just a chemical attack. So it's going to, go, going to be a very heavy response. Um, and there's another one here. So this guy in Syria, he's saying about four days or so till the offense on Idlib. So, what's really interesting is the way they are, all the world's leaders are scripting this to coincide. So, the, the offensive on Idlib is going to start like the 29th of August. Uh, yeah, or, okay, I guess four days. That would be the 28th of August, he's saying. And I'm thinking the false flag is going to hit on the 29th, according to the book. Oh, no, the 31st, according to the book and the drills. So, there is nothing in this, and this all has to be scripted. So now we see what's going to happen. It's going to be false flags, very big uh, chemical false flags all over America, all over Europe, extreme intervention in Syria, uh, North Korea and Iran. And we can see everything that's going to be involved here. So this is worth making. Let's see, but I'll be surprised if I'm wrong with this. Uh, the way it's all laid out is pretty clear. So, thanks.